Brothers and sisters, Brother John here, watchman for that great day. Hello, I'm still here. If you can tell, I have a little bit of a uh, allergy or cold or something going on. My throat's itchy and scratchy. <clears> throat> throat> um, I've been sleeping well lately. But um, I'm here to tell you something. Hold on tight to your Lord Jesus Christ because He's coming. Okay? He is coming. We're close, brothers and sisters. It's no need to, to worry, okay? Don't worry. It, as the day gets uh, uh, shorter and the, uh, the daylight savings time comes in and goes out, <clears throat> which is getting ready to November the 6th, no more daylight savings time, so we set the clocks back an hour and it gets darker and darker earlier, right? It gets darker at 4 o'clock in the afternoon eventually. So, and it's getting colder in our seasons. But fear not, because our Lord is coming. He is coming. He will not, I do not believe, I do not believe that we will be going through a winter. I just do not believe that. <clears throat> I can't believe that. We're, we're entering, we're, we've already entered a time. We've entered a season. Um, by, the Jubilee year happening. The there's many people out <clears throat> teaching that the, even saying that the Jubilee year starts on uh, Yom Kippur. Well, I got news for you. Daniel chapter nine verse twenty six describes from the time of the building of the wall and the and the and the rebuilding of the streets. Okay. That it would be a certain time, 62 and 7, right? 62 and 7. And if we just know how it came the first time, with Jesus the first time, we know that Jesus came, and it was 483 years, right? After 483 years, all right, that's when he came and he died on the cross, all right? When from the first rebuilding, from the cyclical um, uh, prophecy of Daniel, okay? So it happened once and it's happening again because from know therefore and understand from the going forth of the command to restore and build Jerusalem unto Messiah shall be seven weeks and 62 weeks. Those are, that's your connection. That is the connection in scripture. It gives you an exact count. And we know that exact count because we know that seven, it's seven weeks is seven days in a week. So you have seven times seven. 49 years, okay, it turns out that the weeks are years, and we have 62 weeks, which was also the 62 <clears throat> uh, times 7, 434 years, okay, so the total amount of those years would be 483 years, okay, so we have an obvious connection, and where did those years end the total of 7 and, and 62? They ended last year on September the 23rd, 2015. On atonement, from the exact count, okay, the total of 183,770 days, which is the total of 7 and 62, which is 483 years in days. So, we've finished the Jubilee physical count, okay? Remember Habakkuk. Habakkuk says, Though it tarry, wait for it. It's yet for an appointed time, but wait for it. Okay, wait for it. It's, it's going to happen on an appointed time. Appointed times are moedums. All right? Feasts, seasons. Okay? God gave the sun and the moon for <clears throat> signs and for seasons. Okay? Seasons is the word oath, which means uh, festivals or uh a sign. It's a sign. Um, Moedim is a season. Okay, the season is is a feast and a festival. So, my friends, what we're in right now is a period of time that the observed today is observed atonement today. In fact, <clears throat> I'll give you a little quick blurb here. That as of um, today is ten. 11, 2016, which is October 11, 2016. Over in Jerusalem, it will be the evening, 
in at 11 11 a.m. New York time 11 11 today will be 6 11 Israeli uh, Jewish time uh, Jerusalem time which is sundown sundown which means they start their feast at 25 hours <clears throat> 24 plus 1 of atonement so okay there's an interesting connection with this feast all right 24 hours plus one all right I'm not going to go into the whole thing but we're in the time of atonement <clears throat> so we know that jesus atoned for our sins at the cross so this is it's a feast it's a warning it's a sign it could be the time it could be today but we're heading towards tabernacles all right that's next week five more days which is the 17th so actually seven more days one two three four five six seven seven more days from today counting today seven days should i say seven day warning <laughs> i could it's very possible but th the thought is that we know that where we are okay now i'm just trying to give you a little encouragement and i'd ask you to pray for me <clears throat> there's my uh my throat and my i'm not sleeping very well <coughs> excuse me what i'd like to read you is a couple of um, uh scriptures today first of all first corinthians 15 uh, 15 51 and 52 and it's behold i show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump a lot of, there's a lot of people think that that this trump okay is the last trump the vote all right when you vote for the president on the 8th of of november if there is such a thing if we ever get to that point <clears throat> that this trump here is is an indication and a sign as being the last trump okay just as a as a signal could could be all right and and we look at things like that in pop culture and we kind of joke about them but there's there's possibility god has a sense of humor anyway in the moment the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed okay now from there there's a couple of uh uh scriptures below this um zechariah 9 14. and that's an interesting scripture zechariah 9 14. and it says this is interesting as it relates to our lord because it starts out by saying and the lord shall be seen over them and his arrow shall go forth as lightning and the lord god shall blow the trumpet doesn't that sound like uh, first Thessalon uh, uh, first Thessalonians 4 uh, 16 17 we'll go there in a second so as lightning it says you know in, in Matthew it says as lightning goes forth from the east and to the west even so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be so it's interesting that it says right here and the Lord shall be seen right the sign of the Son of Man seen in the heavens right coming with with power and great glory okay in Matthew but he's seen over them and an arrow shall go forth as lightning and the, as lightning goes forth from the east even unto the west and the lord shall blow the trumpet and and shall go with the whirlwinds of the south we've got to run over here and look at that in, in first thessalonians because the lord himself shall descend with a shout right yeah from heaven with the shout and with the voice and of, of the archangel and with the trump of god okay so god is definitely being spoken of right here in in uh zachariah 9 right where it says and he's seen over them okay son of the son of man will be seen over them the lord will be seen over them matthew 24 uh 30 let's see then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven 
and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they they shall see the Son of Man, of Man coming in clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So it just says right there, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Right? The stars will fall from the heavens and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Right? Oh, by heart, I read that. And <clears throat> powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. When? Then. When is then? Then. I don't know. Now. Anyway, we're close. So then shall the sign of the Son of Man be seen in the heavens. Now, I, I just heard uh, Daniel Velez uh, do a video. Uh, it was a recent video. But he was talking about the sign of the Son of Man is when Jupiter will go into Virgo's womb and it stays there for 41 weeks leading up to the to the Revelation 12 sign which is the 23rd of September next year but I don't believe we're going to be part of that time frame okay to get to there I think this is the time that we will be taken out because we've been delivered to a specific time in a year and we go back and let me just go as I go here back to Isaiah um, 66 talking about when it when we read the Revelation 12 sign it's talking about the woman is in travail and she's pained to give birth right and if we go over to and then you know she's delivered of a man child right but in verse in chapter 66 and verse um, of Isaiah um, let's see verse 6 right yep 66 6 3 6 is not a good number but anyway a voice of a voice of noise from the city a voice from the temple a voice of the Lord that rendereth recompense to his enemies remember we're not part of that enemy okay we're not appointed unto wrath so those of you watching thinking that all the things that are coming that you can see on the horizon are just um, uh, obvious signs of the nearness of how close he is okay so take heart um and then it says in verse 7 before she travailed okay before she travailed she brought forth before she travailed before the pains came it says before her uh, before her pain came she was delivered of a man child see so there's two ver there's two verses one saying that she's uh, you know, being delivered to, is pained to be delivered. Okay, going through the time of travail, all right, which would be the the time of pregnancy, which is what nine months, right? So we're entering into the time frame of nine month period, the nine month period where Jupiter actually goes into the womb of of, uh, of Virgo, all right, and stays there for forty one or forty two weeks. Um, until that sign, when then she then uh, Virgo comes out during in that particular sign, the Revelation 12 sign next year, okay. But there's a time of pain, paining to be delivered, going through pains, okay. But in Isaiah it tells us that she brings forth before she goes into labor, before she pains, before she has her pain, okay. You see, so there's a connection here to being. To where we are right now to be taken out the rapture is close our lord is close just keep trusting that we're in that time okay that's all that i really wanted to say, to share with you because it's important it's important that we don't lose lose our our place all right our hope okay god knows that we have little strength we're struggling all of us um and we're hanging in there okay but we're hanging in there by the grace of God okay by his grace all right that's the important thing we trust him we lean not to our own understanding and he will deliver us as long as we acknowledge him in all his ways then he will deliver us he will direct our footsteps okay so no matter how long even if we had to go to next year which I don't believe okay I don't believe it 
maybe if you talk to me after, if we're, if we're, if we're here in February or March or something, you, you understand the main thing is right now. The main time frame where we've been delivered to is right now. And to go further to another, uh, another year, another uh, time marker, it's just, it's too much right now. You, the only way we can really take this is in little bits, okay? So take it right now. Trust the God that our Lord is, is at the door. He's at the door. The time is near, all right? The rumor came, remember Jeremiah uh, 51, 45 to 47, the rumor came one year, then in another, okay? And this, this year is the one where the violence is in the land. And God says in, in, in verse 47, you know, of uh, Jeremiah 51, that, behold, the day has come that he will judge the graven images, okay? And, and graven images are the finances, money, okay, the plates that most in the world, by, by just sheer means of, of, uh, of needing them, do attend, uh, they do worship, in a way, the, the finances, the monies, okay? Because when you got it, it's yours, and you do with you what it, you do with it what you will, okay? But trust God, keep looking up, and um, pray for my throat, <coughs> and and help um, help out if you can, all right? Um, Uh, God bless you all. You know, the Lord loves us, and He's close. Um, well, that's all I'd like to say. I'm glad I got to share that with you this morning. God bless. Brother John, out.